Hello and welcome to week 4 unit 2 enhancement implementation. My name is Babu and I will guide you through this unit. Partners and customers work together to add their own business logic to more general scenarios of business by design. It is practically impossible to design a system that will support every sim single potential scenario out of the box and hence SAP has provided the partners with the ability to support these unique scenarios. Enhancement option or implementation is the way to go for it. Enhancement implementation are objects created in cloud application studio that can be used to add custom logic into standard processes within SAP business by design. You can look at it as an extensibility in functionality which allows you to alter the standard SAP business by design logic, logic beyond what SAP has made available in public solution model. However, it can only be used in very specific and predefined ways. The concept is similar to BADI. So, enhancement option is a touch point in application where the enhancement or exit is possible. You can find all the possible enhancement options released via PSM and available for partners in the repository explorer. Let me show you in the repository an example of it. So, this is my repository explorer, explorer and here I can see all the PSM released entities. So, I can see there is enhancement implement options as well. So, I can go to enhancement options. I will take an example, example body for approval customer determination. So, I will take an example body for cust approval custom responsibility determination. So, just double click on it. So, this exit allows to determine approvals for a given work distribution rule. Implement the logic based on multiple input and output parameters specified here or here. Upon selecting an enhancement option, you can find the detailed document on the right hand side as you can see it here. The document tells you the purpose of the enhancement option, business context and use, how to use it and example when it is, it will be triggered. You can see the example here. Also it details about the input and output parameters along with the filter parameter for this. So, just choose the enhancement option and provide the implementation that meets specific requirements like country specific requirements. Once you create a file with extension dot enht is created in solution for the same. Under it a file with extension dot fltr is created in which you can define the value of the filter parameters. Enhancement option is only executed if the filter parameters at runtime are same as what is specified here. It also specifies if the exit is enabled for multiple use or single use. In case it is a single use, then you can provide only one implementation of this option in your solution. If it is multiple use, you can provide multiple implementations for the same. Okay, so let us move on. Let us take a simple example which we will use to showcase the capability of enhancement implementation in cloud application studio. As you know SAP delivers business objects enabled with multi-step approval processes as we did in the last unit. As we learned in the last unit with each business object there are work distribution rules provided which evaluates the approver at each step. For instance, purchase order approval definition has a rule called per approval by cost center manager which will assign the approval task to the manager of the cost center. However, this is something SAP has pre-delivered and not all use cases might be covered. Hence, the list of rules can be enhanced further to meet specific requirements. Here partners can develop additional rules for multi-step approval enabled SAP business objects through enhancement option and provide their own implementation to determine the approver. Note that this example of providing additional rules can be developed only in partner development tenant since it requires development of BC sets based on SAP business configuration objects. We have highlighted this in the business configuration unit as well. Let us move on to the system now and see how this can be achieved. I will take example of purchase order and create an additional approval rule, work distribution rule for it. So, this is the add-on that we are using for this unit and now what we will do is we will create a new work distribution rule on the purchase order. So, let us get started. 
So, I will add a new item in my add on which is basically a business configuration set. So, with this set I will be creating a new work distribution rule in the system and then I will link it to my purchase order later. So, we will call it PO approval rule ok and in this business configuration set I have to specify a small description of course, you can see uh, it is based it will be based on a SAP business object the name is PO approval rule as we mentioned. So, I will not change it and then give a description for the BC set. So, note that I am using a SAP business configuration object here and not a custom business configuration object and this can be only done in a partner development tenant. So, let us go to the business configuration object that I will use here. So, the business configuration object that is provided by SAP here is basically on I will go to that uh, object yeah it is called approval custom responsibility category and here below you can see all the details about this business configuration object and you can read it based on this and decide. So, you can go next now and here now you specify the values for the BC set and what you have to specify is basically the business object type code on which this work distribution rule should be applied. So, my business object is purchase order for which the type code is 001. Okay, this is the responsibility category code this is my own defined. So, I will say 300 is the code that I will use and provide a description for the work distribution rule that it should appear on the UI. So, approval by IT manager basically the purchase order I will send for approval to the IT manager. Okay, we are done good to go finish. So, it takes a bit of time to create the business configuration set in the add on. So, basically here the purchase order will be sent for approval by the hiring manager to the IT manager. So, I will activate the business configuration set ok activated successfully. Now, let us deploy the business configuration so that the business configuration set is deployed in the system. Okay, cool. So, it is deployed and let us go to the next step. Uh, now, what we will do is we will add an enhancement option. So, that we will write our logic to determine the approval for the new work distribution rule that we created. So, let me search for enhancement option. This is the option as you see dot enht file as I mentioned. So, let us give it a name approval by it is the name. Okay, Let us add it and now, I will have to select the enhancement spot option here. So, this enhancement option is on the task business object and the enhancement option is body for approval custom responsibility determination which I showed you in the repository explorer. Okay, so, uh, we have selected the enhancement option correctly I think everything is ok here let us go and move further ok. Now, fine ok. So, now I can see enht file is created fltr file is also there where I can specify my filter. So, just select the category code the filter parameter is 300 remember the 300 is the code that I have used. So, whenever the category code is 300 this particular body or the enhancement option will be triggered and in determine responsible employee uh, dot epsil this is the place I will write my logic to find to fill the output parameter which is basically the approvers which will be returned by the new work distribution rule. So, let me copy paste it quickly here you can write your own huge logic whatever you want to determine the approver, but what I am doing is I am just checking for whether the category code is 300 and I find a position for it then it means the rule is triggered for 300 and then simply I am adding a UUID of an employee as an output parameter. I have hard coded this just to give an example how it works, but in real case you would definitely have to write your own logic and find the employee UUID who should basically approve the purchase order using this work distribution rule and I return the result with the list of employee UUIDs uh, just one UUID I have mentioned here. So, with this I will activate the code now and I will activate all the elements one by one. So, approval 
filter that I have specified I will activate that as well and once it is activated the things are uh, the runtime objects are generated for them and then we will be good to go and check it. So, it is all activated let us go to the UI and now refresh and see the purchase order approval rule. So, the purchase order approval definition as you can see right now here is set to approval by reporting line in manager. I click on the drop down and can now I can see customer work distribution category which means my own custom category which I created and I can use my existing one which is approval by IT manager. And here I can also specify conditions let us say it is more than 10,000 then only the purchase order should go for approval. Okay. So, I will just give it a new name uh, purchase order approval custom rule and save and close. So, as you know in the last unit we will basically then activate this new purchase order approval definition uh, by editing the validity of the existing one. So, we will just stop the current approval definition at the current time and switch to the next one starting from the current time. So, this is yeah this is the time stamp I will have to change it which is my current time and from this time this should be deactivated and from the same time the new one should be activated. I will check it if everything is ok, ok fine and save and close. So, this is now done let us wait and refresh the screen to see whether the new rule is active. So, there are two rules active and scheduled as you know and yeah so quickly we are into the new rule now. So, now let us try to create a purchase order and see who is the approver. In our enhancement option implementation the logic the UID that I have hard coded is basically this employee uh, is basically the UUID of the IT manager. So, I will go as login as a hiring manager who creates a purchase order for the hired employees and orders those laptops for them and this purchase order should go for approval to the IT manager. So, let us copy existing purchase order instead of entering the whole data and so the data is already populated let us click on the order quickly and we will see the purchase order should go for approval now and it should go for approval to the IT manager. The purchase order number is 823 and we can see it is submitted for approval. Now, let us log off and log in as an IT manager and see whether the IT manager has received the task. Okay. So, here we go in the manage my area I will have my purchase order approval tasks existing and quickly I can see yes purchase order 823 is there for approval click on it and the purchase order can be approved by the IT manager here. So, that that was the use case that we wanted to implement as a part of a user story and we have seen how the enhancement implementation works. I hope with this example it should be clear what does enhancement implementation means and what can we and how can we plug in the customer logic into the general scenario. So, let us quickly summarize uh, the unit before we finish it. So, we have learned what enhancement option means and how does it help partners with, with an example implementation you should be able to create custom approval rules for standard business objects. Please try the exercise for this unit for hands on experience. Thank you and see you in the next unit.